Welcome to the Windy City. It is here in Chicago where Matt Lamb was born in 1932. And he comes back to the Midwest every spring to work in Sangamon Road and in his studio in Wisconsin. Join us on this trip. So before I look at the ocean, now I look at the city, and now I look at you. Welcome. I was born in a funeral home, now about 15 minute drive from here. A place called Bridgeport, which is back of the yards, it's the sack yards. And uh, it's a very unusual place. Most of the, of the mayors of the city of Chicago the union leaders, the mafia leaders, um, all kinds of different people came out of that, that area. And we had just a little tiny place about 15 feet wide and uh, two stories. And that's where I was born and that's where I started my work. After a number of years of doing that, I finally woke up one day and said to myself, there's nothing color can do to me that can hurt me. There's nothing I can do to color that can hurt color. So color then became <clears throat> the great voice that I had. Strong colors and weak colors and how the weak can help the strong. And trying to get laser beams coming out. Trying to really uh, work with all kinds of different colors. I have learned more. I have been able to integrate different processes like concrete steel, wire mesh, Winsor Newton, paints that were uh, made especially for me, water, turpentine, gesso, all kinds of things and then blow torches. Things that ordinarily you wouldn't use together, watercolors and gouache. All of these paintings start with chaos and we're going to do what I call lay down of color which is the uh, bringing together of all of these materials, water and concrete and gesso, and we mixed the uh, oil paints last night. We're going to introduce them into uh, a big melange where I'll then um, bring the canvases in and they'll sit for months and dry. After a two-hour ride from Chicago, we've arrived in Burlington, Wisconsin. 
It is here on his farm where Matt Lamb has the possibility in the huge barns of this farm to work on his monumental pieces. He also has a second birth room here at the farm where many paintings are born and these newborns find their way from here to his studios worldwide. Developing this uh, whole theme, making the bodies, headdress, eyes, just bringing it into its full bloom. So it's a constant ongoing um, process. I look at it, do a little of this, come back, um, change it. Did this this morning early, and that, just uh, to bring the character of the painting out. So this will go on for maybe a year, looking, adding, looking, adding. But now it's more looking and thinking and perceiving about what it is, and it's not much painting. It's more um, trying to get myself inside of this to uh, feel how it all is going to come together, how all of these different elements are going to become one. That's the most difficult part about a big composition like this for me, is the synthesization of all of the parts so that it makes sense to me as a whole. Close up the barn. Away we go. We'll meet in Paris. <laughs> no, we'll meet in Washington. <laughs> no, we'll meet in Germany. Oh, God. <laughs> we have a lot of th ways to go. We have a lot of things to do. But we have now the form to do it in. And we also have the synergy of, I think, thousands and thousands of people around the world looking for the same thing that we're looking for. A little better place that when we're gone, our kids have a little better time, enjoy themselves a little bit better, and they are not so afraid just to be alive. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. That's it. They all come out of that window up there. So it's quite an event. We have a real good time. Um, the bees work all summer and they take all winter off. Bob Bancy is the bee master here. He knows more about bees than the bees do know about themselves. I know exactly nothing about bees except they produce different types of honey. And it's said that Bob's bee honey is the best in Wisconsin and the three states around. <laughs>